What up? Um, <clears throat> good morning. Um, I'm just waking up. Well, actually, good afternoon. <sighs> um, this is a uh, log recap of bar battles. Shell shock. Yeah, I, I got a shell shock moment. But uh, anyway, man. Um, just recap from yesterday. Basically, it's gonna be long, so just enjoy it. Yesterday was was pretty interesting, it was cool, I haven't had that much fun since like the Capcom vs SNK2 tournament in, in Wizards Arcade when John Choi came up here it was his first <laughs> and last visit to the city of Detroit I'll never forget that anyway that's ancient history but um <clears throat> yesterday we had 10, what, 10 members? 10 members of the TFA, the Fighters Alliance go down there um, first and foremost, I want to say I'm proud of my players. They did well, did a good job. Um, top eight, three members made it into the top eight, and we have one member make it into the grand finals against Justin Wong. So, it was pretty cool. Get on that in a minute. Um, let's start off with the beginning of the day. I guess you guys want to know what happened. We all get together. We all meet up, converge on our area. Four of the four of the members, one well, no, three of the members, and another guy was driving in another car, and then two other members were driving in a different car, and then and it was the main car. It was like six, no, seven of us in that van, and we was driving down there. And um, I was gonna tape the ride down. So was Daryl. It was me, Daryl, Antoine, Aaron S, uh, Mike, and Shadow Blair. We were all in the car. I was going to tape, I didn't. Daryl was going to tape, he didn't. Let's just say I'm glad they didn't tape. Because um, everybody knows the definition of a road trip. Well, uh, my definition of a road trip is you're not on a road trip unless two things happen. You either get lost or something unexpected happens. And let's just say we didn't get lost. And let's just say we had a very unnatural uh, situation that occurred in the car and we'll leave it at that what happens in the raspberry shadow stays in the raspberry shadow and I'm so y'all like well, what the hell happened no nah, man no 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 Just say it's unnatural. Uh, look at my other, look at the other people's pages. Uh, I think Daryl's gonna talk about it too. B Dog, he's gonna talk about it, but no, 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 son, no. Let's just say it's all Antoine's fault. That's what I'm gonna say. But other than that, so we driving, laughing about that situation the whole way down. Oh, and Q, Q was in the car too. So, we laughing, we laughing at the situation, just laughing, just laughing. We finally get down there, we finally get to Momos 2. I've never been to Momos 2, they say it's a good place. You know, Chat, he wasn't in the car with us, you know. Chat, he always, he's like, he's been bragging all day, I'm eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner with them rice bowls. I'm eating them rice bowls, it's great, it's great. And I was like, okay, if you say so, I'm going to try one. And, you know, they say this is where season beans going to be. We pull up. It's crowded outside. It's like, you know, what's going on? We get there. It's supposed to start at, you know, the, the tournament's supposed to start at 1. We got there at like 12.30. They won't let us in. Then they finally let us in. Everybody's still setting up. I mean, for the most part, it's set up, but they're still setting up a little bit. And then I was like, damn, they got Wi-Fi in here. But I had to buy a drink, and they had bubble teas. So I was like, let me try one of these bubble teas. Shit was banging. Excuse my language. This stuff was banging, and uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And then, you know, if you purchase something, you can get a code or a username, password to get on their Wi-Fi. So I had my laptop there, and that's why I kept uploading stuff. And um, 
everybody was like, you know, talking. I was like, hey, yeah, me, who the hell are these TFA guys? Who, what, what, who are these TFA guys? Who are these guys? More on that later. And it's like, yeah, I heard Justin's gonna be here. He ain't gonna be here. I heard Justin's gonna be here. You know, you know, is Mario gonna be here too? It's like, I don't know, man. So I'm sitting there and then I'm setting up, about to record, give y'all like a little S log. Next thing you know, it was Wolf Chrome standing next to me. You know, I was sitting down, Wolf Chrome was behind me, Aaron S was behind me, and somebody else was behind me, and then there was a couple people around me. And then, you know, I was so far away from the door, and then Justin came in, and everybody was like, yo, 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 there go Justin, go Mar too. And I looked, and I was like, that ain't Mar. He's like, no, 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 that's Mar. I was like, dog, that dude is too skinny. He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. And then Wolf Chrome was like, yeah, that is Mar. I'm about to do a money match. And I was like, dude, that's not Mar. He's like, dog, it is. So I was like, eventually find out it's not, yo, Martin, if you're watching this video, dog, you got a doppelganger in Ohio, dog. <laughs> a skinny version doppelganger of yourself down there, man. Because everybody just assumed that he was Martin because he was talking to Justin. I don't know if they came in together or whatnot, but they were talking together. So, you know, I guess they say Asian people all look alike. Like they say all black people look alike, I guess. But, <clears throat> oh well, it is what it is, right? And so... Then I was like, Anton was like, I was like, on the car ride home, not home, the car ride there, I was like, man, I'm going to ask Justin if he's going to do a fighter fury. And it was like, Anton was like, he may or may not, don't get your hopes up. I was like, I'll get my hopes up, man. If he do it, he do it. If he don't, he don't. But I'm going to ask him. So I went up there, I was like, Justin, how you doing? My name is Sean Doctor. The Real Gamer Show. He was like, oh yeah, the podcast. So I was like, yeah, you remember. So I was like, um... Yeah, Fighter Fury, you want to do a Fighter Fury interview? I was like, yeah. I was like, all right, cool, bet, let's do it. Um, we'll do it later or whatever. He was like, all right, cool. So then I left. Talked to my teammates. Just said what we got to do down here. Let's do it. Let's go back home, victorious. And so then they were still setting up, setting up. Then they was like, and then they gave us armbands. And they separated the... Uh, it was three armbands. I found out that the red was for pool B, the green was for pool A, and the white hand, the white band was like if you want to play in Super Street Fighter 4. So half of us got green, half of us got red. Pool A had to play immediately, which was like at 2. It was like 1 something. It was like 115. And then pool B, which I was in, didn't have to play for another two hours. So I was like, damn, what am I going to do for two hours? Oh, I know. I looked and saw Justin had a red band, and I was like, okay, why don't we just do the Fighter Fury interview? We did the Fighter Fury interview, but before we found out what, what, what time we was playing, I was like, man, you know, I was like, let me just get 15 minutes of your time, do the interview, and then, you know, at 2 o'clock we go back in and, you know, get ready to geared up. Then Carl, you know, Perfect Legend was there, talked to him for a minute. So the tournament is going. I'm sitting in the back, just, you know, me and D, we got our cameras, I got some footage, he got some footage, and we running back, we filming this member, we filming that member over there, we running, we get, we didn't get as much footage as we want, but we just running back and forth, back and forth, it's like, yeah, it's like, who's playing who? Oh, run over here and film it, but like, dude, why you ain't getting me over here? I'm like, dog, I'm filming you, I'm filming us and them over there, chill out. So it was just, it was just a mess. Um, <laughs> and then... After that, then I, I played. It was my time to play. So I played a guy named Servo. Um, I was kind of nervous. He was playing with Ryu. I played with Akan. And when people was like, dude, got, this dude got Akan. So then I started playing. And uh, I didn't really do too well. So he put me to losers. And then it was like, well, typical Akan, right? And so I was like, okay. So then... After that, I had to wait, had to wait, had to wait. And then by then, people was like, oh, we're going to have a just, Justin Wong gauntlet. $10 an enter. If you could beat Justin Wong, if you beat him, you get the money. You get the whole pot of the money. So, you know, Justin put up 50 And then you put up 10 If you lose, your money get added to the pot and you keep growing and growing and growing until Justin. So somebody beats Justin, they get that whole pot. Plus an additional 25 bucks from the venue. So, um, people was playing. So then I was just, you know, putting footage on my laptop. Next, you know, Aaron, 
uh, Papa Rhino, TFA member, comes up. He's like, yeah, I'm about to play Justin. I was like, what? Then Hody come up. I'm about to play Justin, too. I was like, what? Why y'all wasting your time? Focus on the tournament. It's like, no, I'm about to then Ben was like, I'm about to play him, too. I was like, damn. Oh, y'all about to play him? It's like, yeah, man. Shit, it's fun. Let's go play him. And then Q was like, yeah, I'm about to play him, too. It's like, man, what y'all start wasting your time? Then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll play him, too. So, <laughs> After all this animosity I was giving him, I was like, you know what, I'll play too. I'll play with Hakan. Hopefully he play with Rufus. I was like, please play with Rufus. Please play with Rufus and get Ultra 2. Please. Please, just just give me that Big Bang type pull so I can just be like, just please. But nah, he picked Cammy. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Cammy was actually quite good. He 3 zipped me. He got two perfects on me too. So, but shit, I know one thing. I had the biggest crowd next to next to Antoine. When Antoine played Justin in the gauntlet, there was a big crowd. His crowd was bigger. And Perfect Legends crowd was bigger. Well, Perfect Legends didn't really play in the gauntlet. He played before, so they was just playing casual. But I had the big crowd. People was like, "Man, look at this dog. This dude playing a con against Justin." Man. But in the losers in the tournament. I was playing Khan, I advanced past one guy, I think his name was, I forgot his name, then the next guy was UGO. The first guy I beat, I beat his Ryu, I beat the snot out of his Ryu. People was like, crowd was there, and they was like, damn, this dude playing with Khan, are you serious? I was like, yeah. And I beat him, then I had to play against UGO's uh, DJ, and then the crowd was bigger. It's like, dog, this dude is really playing with Khan. And then it's like, beat him. And then the third guy I had to play was uh, El Ferrante. The crowd was huge. Everybody was around me. We on a station. You know, a stream over here, about 20 stations. And then everybody crowd was like, everybody was like, what's going on? It's like, this dude playing with a con over here. It's like, for real? So everybody looking. And by the time I won against uh, uh, El Ferrante, they was like, yay! It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so then, after that, I had to face Daryl D. I had to face D Dog. And he took me out, but by the end, that's when Justin started getting on the stream. So, you know, that was the end of that crowd. But, <laughs> but um, I didn't get a chance to get on the stream with Akon. I'm kind of mad about that, but I ain't worried about it. I ain't too pressed. I talked to a couple people, and they told me, you know, it's like, dude, don't worry about it. But there was this one guy, the guy who beat, the guy who beat Daryl and took him out the tournament, with another Vega. <laughs> he was going against Toya and Toya. And what he did was he knew he couldn't win, so he picked Hakan. Everybody around the stream was like, hey, where that Hakan do that? Come here, come here. I was like, what? What's up? What's up? Because at that time, I was getting ready for Marvel. He's like, come here, come here. This dude playing with, with, with uh, Hakan. I came in the stream. I came over there near the stream. Dude was playing with Hakan. If you if you were listening and you was on the stream and you hear somebody go slide, that was me because he would jump in the air and hit medium punch and that dead stuns him. So they free fall it and you can combo air combo it with a slide. So every time he did it, he wouldn't follow up. I was like slide, the fuck? And I was like what the fuck you doing? Slide, oil up. He ain't oiled up once. I was heated. I was like, dog. If you're going to represent my character on the stream, represent him right. I went over there to the corner. I was like, dog, don't you ever use that character again. <laughs> Twan and Chad to pull me back. I was mad. They was like, Shell, you going to hit him? I was like, no, but don't you ever touch my damn character if you don't know what the you doing. <laughs> he got all, he got all red face. I was serious. I was mad, man. I was like, my character already get downplayed enough as it is. I don't need no, no moron using my character. Thinking it's all funniest, you know what I'm saying? Shits and giggles. So I was like, man, I was upset. And then, what else happened? <laughs> it's so much stuff, man. It's so much stuff. Um, part two coming up. Part two.